Hi guys, today I have a game for you in my tier 7 Japanese gunboat, and I use that term extremely loosely, the Shiratsu. Now you may be asking yourself, geez, but usually around this time we get to see your captain build and your modules. Well, this is a basic captain build, uh, you know, party target, last stand. Survivability expert, concealment, and I don't believe I have RPF at the time. Uh, this is the game they made me free AXP per, uh, RPF. I go off more of a torp build because this thing is sometimes better at torps than gun boating. Now, I hope everybody's sitting down. I hope they don't have anything drinking her hand unlike me who's drinking coffee as of the making of this video because this is going to be one boring goddamn game oh that was a good sip of coffee maybe saying to yourself wait what do you mean one hell of a boring game the reason i put this game off to the side is more of a public service announcement well geez pudding your title says Buckle up, Buttercup. I was expecting a uh, hair raising king being bottom tier going up against tier nines, especially in this ship. Well, that, my friends, is called clickbait title. And yes, I'm not above that. As you can see, I have a St. Louis following me and a Donskoy. We also have a Sharn who says, you know what? I'm going balls deep right down middle and I'm like man that's kind of peculiar I haven't seen anybody like this is standard battle I understand you know you don't need to push up and I'm like I, I, I'm taking this here a little bit cautiously because I haven't spotted anybody oh look the utilize on the other side okay so that's one DD down Seattle Neptune Helena also on that side great their radars on that side I can't remember if there's more radar because the stupid replay bug to where I can't tap. But I'm like, okay, that's over there. I'm still taking this cautiously because nine times out of ten, at least somebody is willing to watch the flanks. Especially if you're a destroyer. Well, the Sharnors decided, nah, I don't need to go down the middle. Uh, that's a bad idea. The Donskoy is like, well, I'm in a kiting position. Not a bad decision by him. But St. Louis is still with me, which is why I'm still kind of going back and forth uh, without really going into the middle to try to get spots. And I'm like, okay, there's one battleship. I'm like, where the hell is the enemy team? Like, okay, I understand I have a rock blocking some of my vision, but somebody should have been spotted south by now. And then I start thinking to myself, no, there's no way, there is no way they left this wing completely wide open. Uteloid's doing the Uteloid thing, finally realizing, hey man, I was so much better at uh, being in the gunboat line than I am now. I need to get back to open water. There's the French DD who should be open watering. Uh, Gunboating, uh, using islands, and you know what? Hey, ambush, it's a very good ambush destroyer. It still leaves one DD on counter for him. Like, mm, if I was that guy, I would definitely play cautiously, but I'm like, still, there isn't a cruiser or battleship spotted in the south anywhere. And I'm like, there's no way that entire blob is the entire enemy team. For the love of God, somebody be AFK on their goddamn camp. You know, at least somebody doing something to watch the flank. Somebody, you like, please. Like, no, you just didn't leave this whole flank open. It's our dance going this. Reversing? Whatever. I mean, seriously, whatever. Don't, don't care. It's really at this point where I start thinking, there's no way 
There is no way. Well, besides these corpses aren't going to hit. These are just like, oh, maybe I'll push them away. Have to assume somebody's with the St. Louis because why would a St. Louis go this deep, this far, this early, all by himself on this flank? And there's still been a DD not spotted. And if you haven't seen his torps, he's not spotted and he could be anywhere. And that's when I noticed the other destroyer is north. So the only thing stopping me from camping them out is a Udaloy. And can you guess who outspots a Udaloy? I do. Guess who's got two cruisers shooting him? I do. You know where the St. Louis is? And I'm nearly, like, it, it, they halfway into their cap point. Like, you know, I could just do circles in their cap. Most of the enemy team is beyond committed to heading up this charge. The only reason that Udaloy came back is I believe he got forced out of the islands from our team. But he's now low enough to where even I'll pew pew him. I, I ain't afraid to shoot a, a Udaloy as low up. Low out. I see the Neptune. I'm like, okay, the Neptune may have a brain, but if somebody's shooting enough AP at him, which way is he going to turn? Okay, this guy looks like he's committed to potentially getting dark and wanting to come back. He's doing a wiggle, but he's definitely wanting to come back. Our Z46 is coming down. Our St. Louis is right here. I am literally just spotting for the St. Louis. I will only smoke in an absolute emergency. We are losing this game, guys, on ships. We are down three ships till they have 12. I don't want to go up into that death ball of deathness. That's, that's too much death for me. And I won't be the one getting the kills. They'll be killing me. Don't want to do it. Now, what I'm actually thinking is... I'll smoke to St. Louis, and then I'll drive out of my smoking spot for him. But if the guy's going to stay off cap, I'm not going to smoke for him. Because I don't want them to know where I'm at. Don't... The whole point of this video, guys, is just to show you the absurdity of... One person is capping. Yes, the St. Louis is going to join me. Yes, the Z's on its way down here. And guess what? The Donskoy is even in a position to help. I really wish the Udaloy was a little bit lower. But I've got a St. Louis with me. I've got a Zara, a Helena, and an Legato coming back. The biggest threat to me right now is one being spotted and reset. Because that would absolutely crush my heart. <laughs> Took a big chance there not smoking up, but I needed that guy dead. That guy dead was more important. Now, like I said, I'm hope you know, I'm letting people know 30 seconds. 30 seconds till we win. You know, we just gotta hold out for those 30 seconds, and then I'm like, crap, the St. Louis is spotted. Let me send torpedoes through this cap. Because guess what, guys? They need to get to their cap fast. And I'm like, now it's 50. The St. Louis is being smart. I'm being shot on cap. Engine boost activated. I'm not gonna get the cap. What's the point of sitting in my smoke if nothing's spotted? My St. Louis is the one protecting me. Let me just say a lot of my smoke. Now they don't know if I'm in my smoke or if I'm spotting them, if it's another Z. And here comes our other destroyer. Guess what, guys? Game's over. What was it? Less than... 10 minutes, less than 10 minutes, we beat them simply by all capping them. And only one person came back and actually defended their cap, which was Udaloy and everyone else. It was too late. The only thing I care about is winning, guys, and I will do whatever it takes to win. As you can see by nobody made experience. I just made a little bit more of nobody getting EXP because I 100% solo capped that. I'd rather get low EXP and win than high EXP and lose. As the saying goes, I'd rather win looking ugly than lose looking pretty. 
To me, it's all about the win. If you see your team doing this, especially on standard battle, you've got to fall back and defend your cap. Especially if you see one ship spotted. If you see one ship spotted and still don't have a full count of their DDs, you have to assume that other destroyer is with that guy. Don't let this happen. Because I'm sure a bunch of you guys are probably bitching, whining, and complaining about, Oh, you did no damage, no experience, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I'd rather win. Rather win looking ugly than lose looking pretty. I do hope you guys take this message home. I do hope you understand what I'm trying to say or teach or show showcase here. And as I have said before, if you are not the one to do it, no one will. If you won't fall back and defend your flank because nobody else will, well, nobody else is going to. If you do it, maybe somebody else will come with. If you do it and die... Well, you died a glorious death, but your team still is just hell-bent on not wanting to win. You can't help bad teams, guys, but you can still try to play for the win. Enough of me rambling about playing for the win. I do appreciate all your guys' support. I do appreciate everybody who showed up and donated money to Zat's stream. Uh, kept me busy all day. Please remember to compliment good teamwork, good team play. I did compliment the living crap out of that St. Louis. Unfortunately, it really only counts for one, but I gave him two. Plays well, good manners. Trust me, that guy got complimented. Because we are slow to compliment, quick to report. I appreciate all the support you guys give me. Please hit that like and subscribe button. And have yourselves one heck of a great day.